Yeah, I felt that. Um, where's John Sargent? We've got to be John Sargent. Well, you have a major no, lobbying no. scandal going on right now in the UK. Members of Parliament resigning, criminal investigations, and then hiding in plain view is one of the most famous, uh, but at the same time secretive, lobbying organizations in the world. And it's right up there at the pinnacle of power. It's basically. So, what are the sort of things they're deciding then? Are they going to affect us all? Absolutely. Uh, it was the BBC decades ago that got the internal documents of Bilderberg, how they secretly hatched the plan for the euro back in the 50s. Uh, they are the groups that have basically set up the too big to fail idea right. of, of using taxpayer money to bail out the ultra rich uh, billionaires. Uh, they also are meeting uh, many times with EU, UK, US regulators and with the people they're regulating. And it's sinister, is it? It is very, very sinister because you have people like Prince Bernhard who founded it, uh, who and was... so they're up to no good in there. That's what, what you're really telling me is that they're all these people who we think are kind of okay, they're not okay. Not everyone who goes to Bilderberg, from my research, is a scoundrel or a villain. Oh, that's good. But yeah. there are definitely villains in there who are there who are trying to basically yeah. organize uh, government and business. So, and this is a plot against ordinary people then, is it? It, the Bilderberg Group is well known by mainline researchers and historians as a authoritarian kind of robber baron 2.0 uh, organization and the mainstream media, at least in the United States, until just a few years ago, would not even admit that it existed. Right. So, 